What's up, guys? Uh, so I am coaching again. Um, I'm starting in June. I'm taking five lifters. I've already sent out six questionnaires. Uh, it looks like at least three of them are locked in already for sure. Um, but I'm not going to count those chickens till they hatch, of course. But I'm 90% sure that I've got three locked in. So if, if that's something you're interested in, uh, DM me on Instagram. I probably put it on the screen or something. Um, if that's something that's, that you're interested in. Uh, this is CrossFat. We're off-seasoning, um, and I filmed even my accessories. Uh, th this is kind of a typical day. Uh, some of the movements may change here and there as we go, but I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, most of the entire session. Some of my accessories, and I'll try to put in there like what I actually did um, versus what you're just seeing. So I, I sped up some of it, and I only showed one set. Y'all don't want to see like four sets of 20 um on an accessory movement y'all barely like watching my compound movements as it is so uh yeah i wanted to put that out there uh just just a, a whole session i do these from time to time uh, uh just to kind of show like what i do in its entirety uh you know a lot of people think i'm very minimalist and i'm more minimalist than some don't get me wrong um but I do my accessory work. Uh, I've been doing accessory work for years. I just film and upload the compounds because uh, generally that's all that interests me um, in uploading. Um, and so that's all I upload. But uh, as far as the, the coaching thing, I wanted to dip my toes back in the water. Um, I used to coach, uh, but I never carried more than three lifters at a time. And it was real low key. It was, it was basically just people who DM'd me not really me putting myself out there a whole lot. Uh, I am extremely grateful uh, for how quick people responded. Um, I've not even like went full bore with putting myself out there. I've made a couple Instagram posts, a couple Facebook posts. I've mentioned it on a community post on YouTube, um, but I've not really been kind of exclaiming from the mountains yet uh, that I'll be coaching. Uh, and to have as many people that have reached out as all, they already have with how little I put out there, uh, is, it, it's a good feeling that people think that highly of me. I even had somebody who I respect and think highly of, and I'm not going to mention by name right now. Uh, I don't know if they want me to say this, uh, but I'm sure they'll be blushing when they hear this. Uh, so, somebody that I, I respect a lot in the coaching game. Uh, offer to send me his overflow because he is full uh, with his clients and uh, somebody of his caliber willing to put their name out there for me um, you know <laughs> extremely grateful um, you know I've been around the block I've made a lot of mistakes I've done a lot of things correct um, I've learned from both of these things. Uh, I've, I've had people coach me. I've learned from them. I've read books. I've taken things from these books. Um, you know, from both like really academia based people to people who have been in the sport and have a lot of experience. Uh, people who kind of thread the line uh, of being, you know, academia and competing. Uh, side note, always make awkward eye contact when using good girl or the bad girl machine. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've got a lot to give. I've, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, been in the game for a long time. Uh, you know, I lifted before YouTube, uh, and how I've been uploading content on YouTube for a decade now. Uh, I've, you know, competed. I've, I've bulked, I've got big to get as absolutely strong as possible. I'm now, you know, that big cut that I always talked about for years and years and years, I've finally done it. Um, I've managed to be at maintenance now uh, since December, January, um, which that, that was the thing that made me the most nervous was, was a maintenance phase because I've always gone straight from a cut to a bulk. Um, so th th this is uncharted water for me now as far as um, not jumping right back into bulking after a, a cut. And th this was the one. I'm never ever going to intentionally be 300 pounds again. Uh, not saying 
I'm infallible and I might mess up and, you know, be 300 pounds again out of neglect. I'm certainly human, um, but, you know, it's not something where I'm going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm bulking back up and, you know, chasing the, the absolute strength train again. Uh, I'm fine with my biggest numbers now being set in stone, being what they are. Uh, they're there for people to chase. Uh, they're accomplishments of mine that I will... Uh, always have. Uh, thankfully, we live in this age of social media and recording things and camera phones. So, you know, everybody knows that guy that used to bench 400 in high school. Uh, unfortunately, no vid, no did. I've got the vids because I did all the dids. So, yeah, I'm 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 happy with where I'm at. Uh, as far as my personal training goals for myself going forward, I'm still, I'm giving it this off season. Um, I mentioned again in a, a group chat with some more friends, some you might know, some you don't, uh, about not making uh, quick decisions right after a meet. Uh, always like right after a meet, your emotions are high and logic is low and you've got all these pie in the sky visions and, uh, Never, never make a, a decision, any sort of long-term decision, uh, based on your feelings after a meet, immediately after them, because you're not, <laughs> you're not thinking clearly, uh, go, go work one out and get that post-nut clarity, uh, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, uh, and literally, if you need that too, by all means, um, but yeah, definitely don't want to go go chasing the waterfalls after a meet that can get you into trouble uh that can lead you down a path that can be injurious is that a word injurious um likely to get injured uh and and train in a dumb manner things like that so uh i've there is a meet in october in some capacity i'm going to be there uh, is it bench only? I don't know. Is it push pull? I don't know. Is it full power? I don't know. Is it full power in knee wraps? I don't know. Uh, right now I'm just going to kind of cross fat it up for the next month or so. Have fun with training, uh, before I make that decision. Um, hell, I might even be at that meet as a spotter loader or a judge, uh, not even competing. Again, not making any rash decisions for now, so... Per Jump the gun on the piece there. Uh, yeah, did two 20 minute cardio uh, intervals. Uh, just get the heart rate up. Do some cardio, fellas.